law enforcement professionals have a new ally in restraining subjects being arrested. MaxCuff is a dependable product in transport. Accurate during booking. The MaxCuff restraint is the ultimate handcuff for the 21st century. The MaxCuff restraint is a strong, highly effective restraint for single and multiple restraint situations. The Max Cuff is durable, made of high tensile strength nylon. It can withstand an excess of 500 pounds pull when double locked. The Max Cuff is lightweight and easy to conceal. Using numerical identification such as a, an officer's badge number at the time of arrest will simplify the subject's documentation and is invaluable during the booking process. Even after the cuffs are clipped off, the suspect's information will remain on the max cuff. Max cuffs double locking features ensure a maximum restraint and prevents over tightening. The Max Cuff is inexpensive and disposable. This feature is especially significant in an arrest involving potential hepatitis and HIV contamination. MaxCuff is the perfect option for meeting the standards of OSHA's occupational exposure to bloodborne pathogens. Unlike your agency's conventional metal restraints, the MaxCuff's disposability eliminates the need for decontamination. The MaxCuff is easy to use, versatile and surprisingly strong. We would like to demonstrate a few techniques that will familiarize you with this product and its features, which will help you use it more effectively. The Max Cuff is shown here in the ready mode. When in this mode, the straps are looped and inserted into the locks. Because of the safety tip's unique design, it can only be inserted into the bottom of the locking mechanism one way. The straps are inserted into the locking mechanism and drawn up to the desired fit. You will hear a very audible clicking sound as the strap is pulled through the locking mechanism. It is an indication to the officer and the subject that max cuffs are being engaged. The new patented safety tip locking feature ensures a reinforced secured lock and ensures only proper insertion by reinserting the clipped strap into the lock behind the trigger of the max cuff. At that point, it is double locked, increasing the max cuff strength double fold. The officer pulls the right arm down behind the subject's back, slips the max cuff over the wrist, and tightens the strap. The suspect's other hand is then brought down behind the back and slipped into the loop, and the strap is then tightened. Remember to insert your finger between the subject's hand and the strap to be certain the max cuff is not too tight.
Max cuffs make a very effective leg restraint. Two max cuffs are placed flat side towards one another. The upper strap from the first max cuff is inserted into the lower lock of the second. The upper strap from the second is then inserted into the lower lock of the first max cuff. This application is useful in suspect transportation situations and when it is necessary to limit a subject's mobility. In instances of multiple arrests, several restraint techniques are possible. In mass arrests, demonstrations, or large nonviolent groups, subjects can be restrained together by interlocking their arms. The Max Cuff is a versatile tool used in a variety of applications, such as law enforcement and military combat. It outperforms in both single arrests and large demonstrations. We have received letters from the White House to local law enforcement agencies expressing their satisfaction with Max Cuff restraint. From arrest, transportation, to booking, max cuff restraints are indispensable tools in law enforcement. Don't go out there without one. Music